everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a roundup of my top picks for the best designer shoes that are comfortable. And I really want to emphasize the fact that these shoes are comfortable because in my opinion, spending a couple hundred dollars or even upwards of a thousand dollars on a pair of designer shoes that aren't comfortable is probably not the best use of money. So today we're actually in a different space for this video because back here is where I keep all of my shoes and I do have a bit of a shoe obsession. So I do have a lot of pairs of shoes to choose from for this video. So what you'll be seeing is a combination of shoes of all heel heights from flats to your four plus inch high heels and you'll also be seeing some very well known pairs of shoes but also some that you might have never heard of before. So before we get started, I quickly wanted to introduce myself if you're new here. So hi, my name is Carol and I upload new videos on luxury style and fashion every single Thursday. So if you like these types of videos, do consider hitting the subscribe button down below and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on my future videos. With that being said, let's get into the video. The first two pairs of shoes on this list I've already mentioned in a previous video of mine on my best luxury purchases of all time. So I'm just going to breeze through these and if you want to find out more, I'll have that video linked up here. And the first of these two pairs are these black quilted ballet flats from Chanel. And this is actually the second pair of these same exact shoes that I've purchased. What makes these so comfortable is they don't require any period of time to break them in. They're comfortable the very first time you put them on because the leather is very soft and it molds to the shape of your feet very well. Also, these ballet flats cover more of my feet than most flats do. So whereas a lot of flats basically cut off my feet where the widest part is, these actually come up higher than that so it's not rubbing against the bones on my feet and causing them to blister. So no matter how long I have these shoes on for, they're still very comfortable and I can walk so long in them without my feet hurting whatsoever. The other pair of shoes that I've previously mentioned are these black Gucci pumps. What's really unique about this pair of shoes is the front of it is kind of a mix between an almond shape and a pointy shape. So while you do get the elongation to your legs from the pointy shape of these pumps, you also get the comfort factor from the almond shape. Also, this pair of shoes is slightly wider than a lot of the others that I own. So for someone like me with wider feet, that extra bit in width makes a huge difference. And if you look at the side profile of these shoes, you can see that the heel is a bit thicker. So especially if you're wearing this for long periods of time, that thicker heel does help you feel like your feet is more secure and stable in these shoes. Now onto the shoes that I've never talked about on my channel before. These are the Vara Bow Pump from Ferragamo in the 30 millimeter height. And I really think that these shoes deserve more recognition than they get. And I kind of understand they're not the flashiest shoe or the most stunning looking, but they are a very feminine and sensible pair of shoes. These are the best shoes to wear to an office setting, in my opinion, if you don't want to be wearing a higher heel shoe. And what's great about Ferragamo is that they do make shoes in a variety of widths. So you could get this in a narrow shape or a wider width also. I do have it in the regular width and I just really like how these shoes make my feet look smaller than they actually are. And because it is a block heel, it's very comfortable and I do like shoes with a bit of a heel more than I like flats. I just find that the little bit of heel actually gives my feet more support than flats do. So I think if I really, really had to narrow my collection down to only one pair of shoes, which I don't even want to think about the possibility of that happening, but if I really only had to have one pair of shoes that I could do literally anything in and wear them for any occasion, it would definitely be this. Next up on this list is this pair of Manolo Blahnik Hangeezy pumps, which I have in this LeMay fabric in the 70 millimeter height. So I actually don't wear this pair of shoes as much as I do another style from Manolo Blahnik, which I'll mention later in the video, 
But the only reason for that is because I only really wear this pair of shoes for special occasions. But even though I haven't worn them as much and I haven't broken them in as much as some other pairs of shoes that I've owned, these are actually much more comfortable than some shoes that I've worn a ton and you would assume I've broken them in by now. I've even had some occasions where I've been on my feet all night and when I got home at the end of the night, my feet were still perfectly fine. Part of the reason this pair of shoes is so comfortable is because it's in a lower heel height. But I have tried on the style of shoe in the higher height and those are also really comfortable in my opinion. And the only reason I bought these in the lower heel height is because I really wanted this combination and I couldn't find it in the higher heel height. Sometimes I do find that shoes in a non-leather material aren't as comfortable as a leather variety because when you're wearing leather shoes over time, it does mold to your feet better. But I do find this pair of shoes in a fabric material much more comfortable than some other shoes that I own, especially patent leather Louboutins. So that was the perfect transition into this next pair of shoes, which is from Christian Louboutin. This specific style has a heel height of 100 millimeters, and I did just say that I didn't really find patent leather Louboutins comfortable, but this specific pair is in a suede material, so it is definitely much more comfortable than the patent pairs. And what also adds to the comfort factor is the front of these shoes is a rounded almond shape instead of a pointy shape. So it helps alleviate some of the pressure that goes to your toes, especially since if you look at the side profile of these shoes, the incline of the shoe is very steep. And also what helps with the pressure on your toes is the heel of the shoe kind of curves in a little bit. So that helps distribute the weight that is falling on your feet a little bit better. So even though you look at this type of shoe and it doesn't look like it'll be the most comfortable, surprisingly it actually is. So this pair of shoes is the only pair of sandals that I'll be mentioning on this list. And the reason is I just usually prefer wearing pumps the most, but I couldn't not mention these shoes because these were my wedding shoes. And long story short, I actually only bought these around three days before my wedding. So of course I didn't even have a chance to break these in. And I was fully prepared for my feet to hurt. And I was surprised at how amazingly comfortable these were. I also wore these more after the wedding day and they were also very comfortable. So it's not like I was hit with a rush of adrenaline and just couldn't feel any pain during my wedding. They're just that comfortable. I will mention though that I wish the ankle strap was a little bit longer and came with more of the holes to secure it because I use the second to last hole on the ankle strap and usually I do use one of the tightest holes for most ankle straps. And if you have a thicker ankle, this probably wouldn't work for you for that reason. Also, because I do have to use one of the loosest holes on the ankle strap, the pearls kind of don't wrap around my feet as much as I would like it to. So you'll see it in the try-on clips. It looks a little bit awkward because these pearls on the ankle strap kind of cut off where it's still very visible from the front of the shoe. But aside from that, I really, really love these. And of course they have a very special memory tied to them. And lastly, this is the other style of shoe from Manolo Blahnik that I hinted at earlier in this video. And these are their BB pumps. And I have this plaid pair in the 105 millimeter height. And I also have this cobalt blue suede pair in the 115 millimeter height. So what's amazing about these shoes is I could actually run in them without my feet hurting even the tiniest little bit. They're just that comfortable. And these are the highest pair of heels that I own in 115 millimeters. And they're just so comfortable. It's unbelievable because I've tried on a lot of other pairs of shoes in the same heel height and I basically look like I'm just learning how to walk in them and 
there's been times where I've worn Christian Louboutin Pagao Foley's for a few days straight and I would put these on the following day and it's basically like walking on air in comparison. The only thing is I wish I owned this pair of shoes in a more neutral color because I don't wear these as much as I would like to just because they're in more unique colors and patterns. But if I owned this in a black leather, for example, I think I might even wear this more than the Gucci pair that I mentioned earlier in this video. That is it for my roundup of the most comfortable designer shoes in my collection. So I really hope you liked this video and found it helpful, especially if you're looking to purchase a pair of designer shoes yourself and you really want to purchase a pair that you will be able to actually wear and walk in and get your money's worth. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any of these shoes yourself and if you think they're comfortable or uncomfortable. And if there's a pair of shoes that I didn't mention before that you think are comfortable, leave them in the comments below because I'm always on the hunt for comfortable shoes even though I'm starting to run out of storage space for my shoes. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing to my channel for new videos every Thursday. And for now, 